Good to be uh, back home. It seems like y'all haven't been back here in forever. Yeah, it feels really good to be home. You know, it was a long road trip for us, but we like road trips also. We get to bond a little bit, and we changed it a little bit this year, so we actually flew out right after the match at Arkansas, and Saturday really gave us time to rest and have a good practice and feel prepared for the match at Missouri, so that was good. It's, it seems like there's been kind of consistently, you've been consistently inconsistent with win-loss, win-loss. What, yeah. what's, uh, what are you hoping to do to kind of uh, break that chain and, and kind of get back focused in now that you're home? Well, we're hoping for back-to-back -back wins here at home. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a big weekend around here in general. It's great to be back with the 12th man, uh, but two solid matches, South Carolina and Florida. So, again, two different styles of volleyball, but we got to prepare for both of them. And, you know, that's the goal. You want to start winning back-to-back -back and get rolling, especially right now in the middle of the season. It's the middle of October. This is when we need to make those changes and adjustments a little soon there. Something to be said about the two losses in SEC play go, both going to five sets and, mm -hmm. and doing a, a, a battle to the finish? Yeah, this team fights for sure, but we're at a different point. Um, last year we were fighting and just earning points and keeping ourselves in matches. Now it's like we're managing the match very well, almost dominating the match and then letting it slip away. So it's kind of tightening up and staying focused. The focus and the attention to detail, execution throughout the match, that, that's what we're working on now. Now that you're well into SEC play, what are some of the keys to keeping your foot on the gas as you go through the tougher parts of your schedule? Again, I'd go back to execution, you know, that attention to detail and the mental focus throughout an entire match, you know, not letting up and trusting it. You have to trust the game plan the whole time. And if we have to make adjustments, then we will. But I think that execution is key. What challenges will South Carolina present you guys? They have a lot of pieces. Um, you know, they have their right side. She's returning. And offensively, they have somewhat of a balance. So their attack in general, that's going to be the challenge for us to key and be able to stop their key players. Um, that's, you know, what slipped away at, at Missouri. We need to be able to manage and stop the key opponent. I know I, I could be wrong here, but I believe before this last trip, you were talking about y'all really kind of focused in on the blocking and, and how that works in the system. Have you been happy with that, how that's gone? It seems like it will be key uh, with a South Carolina attack like they have. Um, our team has showed us that they can execute at a high level. You know, the first two sets at Missouri, we shut them down defensively. You know, we focused on that. But again, you have to focus in. And even when they come back, these are good teams. When they come back and they start pushing you, you have to stick to your game plan, stick to your guns, and continue to execute. And we kind of got reactive. And we started changing what we were doing because of a, a decent swing this way or that way. So here, we just have to be disciplined in what we're stopping and trust that game plan. Are you happy with the development and the progress that you've seen so far? Yeah, I, I, I love this group. You know what I mean? They have great energy. They want it. So it's continuing to push them and make them believe and doing that through the training. You know, it's not – it's the end game, and yes, we have to finish, but you have to – that develops in, in the gym and in the training so that it just becomes a behavior, a second nature out there. Good again.